Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we are going to be taking a look at the WD Blue SN550 NVMe solid state drive. Um, now if you're not familiar with these guys, uh, this essentially is your next generation of storage, uh, computer storage. What you find these this sort of form factor in quite a bit is laptops. Uh, laptops obviously are getting thinner, lighter, etc. And so obviously the old 2.5 um, little solid state drives and hard drives um, just don't really fit in modern laptops anymore, especially when they're trying to get them ever smaller and fit in fancier components and all that sort of stuff. So they came up with this. This is what we call an M.2 form factor. And basically it looks like almost like a pack of gum or something when we um, are open it up. I'll show you in a minute. But essentially, um, they're really, really light, and they can be installed on desktop PCs if the, you have a motherboard that sort of supports it. Uh, you could also get a what we call a PCIe adapter uh, that I believe allows you to essentially mount these in your computer. Um, but my uh, PC build that I did uh, a little while ago now, which you can check out the videos, um, has a... Uh, a spot for this sort of drive in there. So I'm going to use this essentially as my boot drive. You'll notice that um, I only got a 250 gigabyte model um, because they are kind of pricey. Um, I managed to pick this one up from Centercom for about $57, which was a little bit cheaper than it was going for on Amazon. I believe Amazon had it for about $69 or something like that. So I saved about $10 or so getting it from Centercom. And I was buying a whole bunch of other stuff from them anyway, so I figured I'd go and grab it. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. I'll, I'll do Centercom, I'll do Amazon, all that sort of stuff, um, so that you can have a bit of a shop around. Um, now, What's interesting about these guys is their speed. So um, they typically are considered to be much, much faster than your standard 2.5 uh, solid state drives. Um, and I mean, you know, the advertisement on the back here says build the ideal PC with dual storage using a Western Digital MVME solid state drive plus a hard drive. So you can use a larger hard drive for storage and then obviously this as your boot drive, which is what I'm planning on doing. Although um, I'm probably going to use this as my boot drive and then still use another solid state, 2.5 solid state SATA drive for um, some storage on my PC build. Uh, but what's interesting about these guys is, uh, again, the form factor. Let's just see if I can open this up. It's got a little bit of sticky tape or something on here. Use my box cutter. It's always a bit precarious using the box cutter through the uh, screen on my camera here, but I managed to do it. All right, is there anything else in here? There is something else. All right, let's just chuck that box off to the side. Let's see what this thing is. Looks maybe like a warranty card. Maybe it's a. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh yeah, warranty information. It's actually a sticker, so you could actually you know pop this on the side of your PC or something. Um, so that's kind of handy. Appreciate that. Uh, th there is the drive. Um, so again, it's like a stick of gum. Um, but uh, let me just put that off to the side for a second. Let's take a look at this. So we've got some technical support. Basically just probably in different languages or whatever. Don't know why there's a sticker on here, but I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, it folds out like a map, so that's kind of annoying. Why don't they just print it like a book? I don't know. Why is there a sticker on it? Uh, anyway. Um, so, let's take a look at the drive itself. It's obviously super, super tiny. And that's it. If you take a look at my box cutter here, which is pretty small to begin with, um, it's obviously smaller than a box cutter. Um, I have a Raspberry Pi 3 here. And you can see sort of the size of it in comparison. So like I said, these guys were originally sort of developed, or I don't know if they were originally developed, but uh, you know, the first time I ever heard of them was really in you know, laptops. Um, so obviously they're super thin and um, they give a decent amount of storage. You can get these guys up to, I'm not sure, but I think uh, two terabyte I've seen. There might be bigger ones out there. If someone knows in the comments, please let me know. Um, but like I said, they are typically a little bit more expensive than some of your other storage options. Um, but again, you, what you're paying for is essentially the form factor, but also the speed. So this guy is going to go directly into my motherboard. And from what I've read and from what I understand, um, these guys 
can perform significantly faster than even a regular solid state drive that connects via a SATA cable to your motherboard. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my PC that I'm going to install this in and actually do a little install next so that you guys can see how to do it and how to do it properly. Anyway, stick around. Okay, everyone, so we're going to install the NVMe drive now or the M.2 drive. I'm not really sure what the terminology is or how you're supposed to refer to these guys, but it's our little uh, package of gum looking uh, drive, the Western Digital Blue, which is this guy here. Um, now, where we are going to install it is actually right here on my motherboard. So again, I'm running a Ryzen 3 2200G on this motherboard. This is a Gigabyte B450MH. So uh, essentially where this guy is going to go is just right there. Okay? And there's different sizes to these M.2 drives. I believe they're, uh, I think they're 40, 60, 80, and it's usually in the model number. It will tell you what the size is. This is an 80, so it's one of the longer ones that are available, but you can get different sizes. And that's why there's these different sort of holes here. Um, and essentially, you'll see in a minute what this is for. So basically, to install this, uh, basically, you just have to line up the connectors to how they're set up on your motherboard. So this one's obviously going to slot in like this. And so basically I am just going to push that in like so. Okay. But you'll notice that it's sticking up straight. Now, before I press record, and I'm sorry to, my giant hand is in the way. Um, there was this stopper here. I know you guys have a hard time seeing that, but it's a little black stopper thing. And it was a real pain to lift off my motherboard. I really had to yank this thing out of there. But basically what this is going to do is once I plug this back into its little hole here, it's going to hold this drive down. Some motherboards have screws that you essentially have to screw in, uh, but this one's got a little plastic stopper. So I'll do that now so that you don't have to look at my hand for however long it takes me to do it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, so as you can see, the... Uh, drive is connected to my motherboard now and basically it has that little stopper which I just plug back into its little hole and it's keeping this guy uh, flat against my motherboard or just a bit off but uh, yeah that's it um, super easy like I said these guys are a bit expensive but you get better performance out of them and uh, yeah I figure I'd give one a go but uh, anyway I'll leave a link down in the description in case you want to pick one up as well but that's going to do it for this episode thanks so much for watching this is Gizmo Joe signing off